All right, ladies, welcome to My Foot Attraction 2.0. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys. This is the second part of the, um, of the eye contact video series, and this is about how to use eye contact to get a man hooked with psychologically proven ways. All right. So these are some. I'm going to be showing you guys some psychology-based um, tactics to improve eye contact. All right. Um, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you why you have bad eye, bad eye contact. That's the first thing. The second thing, I'm going to be showing you common advices. Like just common tips and improving eye contact. And the third one, the third section is going to be um, how to how to use eye contact on the date. And in that section is the psychologically proven tactics to improve eye contact. Right? To improve eye contact in a way that will make a guy chase you. All right. So you got that. You got that down. All right. Let's just start it. If you want one-on-one -on -one coaching, go to myforattraction.org. If you want a free gift from me, where I. Um, where it doesn't where if you want if one of my free gifts that I have is is is, is part of a section of my seminars. It's in audio form. Go to the link below mindfulattraction.org and you'll be able to um, put your email and download it. If you guys want to attend my seminar in um in London, you the, the also click on the link below. All right. So let's get started. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button, the little bell button, tap that button, all right, so, you, so, they got, so that you guys know when I'm coming up with new videos. So, women don't seem to understand that. In order to have good eye contact, it's not about learning how to have good, good, good eye contact. You're like, oh, like that. This is not good eye contact. The, the, the acting of eye contact is not good eye contact, all right? In order to have good eye contact, you have to get your shit together. You have to realize that what you see, how you see people, and the way that you, the way that people see you, is more of a reflection of how you see yourself. All right. So you got to get your shit together in order to improve your eye contact. Because every time somebody has bad eye contact, you know what tends to be low self-esteem. Simple as that. People will high. If you have high self-esteem, your eye contact is gonna be on point. Right. So this is what you gotta do. You have to have a clear mission in life, right? So you got to get your shit together. Have a clear mission in life. What matters to you? What do you value also? So you got to have a set of values. You got to have personal ethics. You got to embrace your feminine energy and also have a set of boundaries, right? Once you get your shit together, once you're able to be comfortable and grounded within yourself, it's going to be expressed through the way that you look at people and people are going to feel that, you see? So, so with that being said, these are some of the common tips. Common tips because it applies to everyone to improve eye contact, all right? First things first, do not watch the fucking practice eye contact videos on YouTube. Don't watch those videos, right? Because they don't really help. You gotta have real experience through looking at people and feeling uncomfortable. The second thing, find out what's the deeper issue. What is the emotion that's causing you to look away, all right? Don't just try to fix the issue through the mechanics, which is, um, let me not look away, let me not look away. No, rather, it's okay, look away, but become aware of the emotion that's motivating the looking away. You see what I'm saying? Like you're going deeper into the issue and observe the emotion that's causing you to look away. You want to notice it and you want to see it and embrace it. And rather than say, I feel nervous, say, my body feels nervous and act as such. And, 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 and surround your body and your emotion in love and embrace through embracing those uncomfortable feelings, all right? Um, start practicing eye contact on real people. So if you feel nervous, so this is what you got to do. If you cannot make eye contact with, with people, just look at one eye. You got to look at one eye, right? Just focus on one eye or look at the center right here, right? Because that, are, that will allow you to be relaxed so that you're not just, you're not in your head when you're looking at someone, especially, you know, if you're looking at me, you know, looking at a beautiful person, I guess, you know, it causes people to get in their heads, you know, I understand. Um, also, do not stare, right? Don't just fucking stare. Look at people, right, when you're talking and look away from time to time, right? You don't want to have a constant stare because then you're going to be, you're going to appear, you're going to look like a cycle, you know what I'm saying? Um, focus on one eye, don't open your eyes too big when you're looking at someone, don't open your eyes too big, have a relaxed co eye contact. And also if you feel awkward, remember, remember that's good because feeling awkward means you're stepping out of your comfort zone. When you feel awkward, you want to observe the emotion that it makes you interpret the situation as awkward and use mindfulness to um, to improve upon it, all right? So you want to notice those moments when you feel very uncomfortable making eye contact and become aware of that emotion and just observe it and be there. Do not resist it. Don't push it away because what's going to happen is that if you push away the uncomfortable feeling of making strong eye contact with people, it'll, it, 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 it'll strengthen it because you're resisting it, all right? So these are three things that you can do all need to use uh, so that you can use eye contact to increase attraction. One, when you're talking to someone, right? 
have have silence but with strong eye contact so it's a good idea to have moments of silence you just stare at each other's eye this has been scientifically shown to increase a connection between a man and a woman and if you want to increase the effect then make eye contact if he talks sensually shush him and tell him just to look for example you're talking to him right you guys are like oh my gosh this is a private day right he's talking he's talking and then you just He's like, well, he, and he'd be like, well, why do you want me to shut up? He'd be like, shh, don't say nothing. Just look at me. And just look. He'd be like, well, well, if he says, what are we doing? He just, just look at me. And just look at each other, right? If you want to hold hands, just look at each other, right? And when you do this and allow it and be there in silence, make it a dare. Just say, let's do 30 seconds of silence just to see what happens, right? I, I, heard, it, I heard it make the date much better. When you do this, this will invariably increase the connection between you and the guy trust me trust me boo boo okay the second thing communicate among strangers it strengthens the bond and gives a us versus them feel to your interaction for example right um let's say that you are talking to each other right and you guys are in a are in a foreign setting let's say in a group setting right and you guys are surrounded with people that you don't know right use eye contact to to create a bond for example let's say you guys are talking um, let's say you're talking to someone and your guy's talking to somebody else, right? From time to time, give each other a certain look. You know how women girl code each other? Well, look at each other and just give each other, just acknowledge each other, like, mm, right? And what tends to happen is that because when you're amongst strangers, right, and you guys don't know anyone but yourselves, and you guys make eye contact, and you guys see it through the, through, through the sea of uncertainty, that contrast of not knowing anyone but just each other and feeling that contact, creates a comfort it's the us versus them kind of mentality you see number three when he says something that you don't like look away in the in in a way no when you when he says something that he doesn't that you don't like look away in a very obvious and intentional way this makes the guy say hey what's up i'm just kidding for example i do this a lot right um when a girl says um let's say a girl says you know i don't like to read books i'm like what you don't like to read books that's it we're done what i'm just kidding nope we're done I'm just kidding with you. Anyways, you see, like, you just look away, right? Or if he says something like, oh, yeah, you know, I, um, um, you know, I, um, let's say he says, um, you know, I, I love to watch wrestling and play video games all day. What? You're like, ah, me and you can never get along. Well, I'm, I'm just kidding. Nope, we're done. Like, looking away, right? And if you, so, when he feels like, oh, I'm just kidding around, you're like, I'm just kidding around. Anyways, and you make eye contact, right? And the, again, three simple things that you could do. To increase attraction when you're on a date in a public setting or when you're or when you're face to face with a guy very simple things and these things do make guys chase all right you feel me girl you feel me all right good all right so anyways this is alex from my for attraction 2.0 um if you guys want to subscribe go to um click on the link below to subscribe and also hit the notification button the little bell button if you guys want one-on-one -on -one coaching i have monthly coaching i have email coaching i have phone um and skype coaching if you guys want to do that, just click up, just go to mindfulattraction.org slash game coaching. If you guys want to attend my seminar, click on the link below. And if you guys want to subscribe to my mailing list, you guys will also get the link below. Don't forget to follow me on social media, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.